What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to make a few adjustments to a Raleigh Corsa 1980 steel bike and we're going to protect the frame with this Gorilla Tape which I have here on hand. So if you don't have mud guards or fenders for your bike but you want to go and shred some gravel paths, go on a gravel tour, then uh, yeah, you might be a bit careful because there can be stones hitting the frame and damaging it, uh, especially on the down tube here and also on the rear chainstay. So, if you want to protect your frame, you can use mud guards and fenders. But personally, for me, I don't like the look of them. I think they make the bike look more like a touring bike, sort of cute in a way, which I don't necessarily like. I like to see the tire tread. And uh, yeah, I think this makes the bike look more aggressive, more like a gravel bike. So therefore, I thought, okay, we can also use Gorilla Tape. I've used this before on all my bicycles to protect them. It is very sticky, so once it's on there, it will stick. So don't use some cheap transparent tape like Tesa. This will not stick, will not do the job. So we're going to apply this to the down tube and also the rear chain stay and also under the bottom bracket. And therefore, I use this 50 millimeters transparent Gorilla Tape here. And I already cut it in half, as you can see. I can just peel it off like it was cut in half. How I did that, this little trick I'm going to show you now. I'm going to blend it in somewhere. Quite easily, I just used a knife and I was searching for a book that had about half the length of uh, the 50 millimeters. So then I just uh, squeezed the tape across in circle. And that's how, how we cut it in half. So very simple trick, but very effective. And I thought I'm going to share this with you in a very quick how-to video. So I'm going to name this like how to protect your bicycle frame without fenders or something. All right, so what we're going to have to do now is pop out the front wheel, pop out the rear wheel, um, clean it with some alcohol wipes. Yeah, and then just apply it. Easy. So let's do that now. I just found out the Gorilla Tape, which we have here, you can't even order this in, the, in Europe anymore. So I ordered it a few years ago, actually. So uh, the new brand, I think they just rebranded it, is um, T-Rex Repair Tape. It's exactly the same size, thickness and all the measures are the same. So Gorilla Tape is still available in the US, but not in Europe. So if you live in Europe, you have to go for T-Rex Clear Tape. Perfect. And that's it. <laughs> I told you this is going to be a very quick video. And uh, yeah, we're finished. We applied some of the Gorilla transparent tape here onto the down tube, the C tube, and also the chain stay. So uh, we don't have to worry about the chain hitting the frame here. This is nice protected. So 
yeah and now we can hit the gravel don't have to be any careful whatsoever because of any stones hitting down tube of the frame there's that and also i think uh, we did a good job changed these very modern and black looking fast tighteners or clamperness to these old school chrome looking it's just uh, fits much better with the bicycle these are the few little touches that for me personally just motivates me to get out and ride this thing whenever you change a little bit you feel like ah oh, it's a completely new bicycle not always the case but with this uh, mindset particularly that you know okay now i don't have to be worried about any stones when i'm on the gravel bike then you can just uh, ride even faster without having to worry about any damages to your frame all right i hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial how to protect your bicycle frame without fenders and mud guards yeah if you did then subscribe to the channel to see many more bicycle and bike restoration content and yeah we'll catch you in the next video very soon peace out for now bye